Hi, welcome to Q Recaps. What does it feel like to have a good-looking appearance? This story may come off as cliché, it delves into a subject that can be a bit frustrating. Despite the common notion that inner beauty is the most valuable, it is often the attractive face and appealing physique that are the most sought after. Today I will explain the movie called 200 Pound Beauty. Hannah was a 200 pound overweight girl who, despite being as kind as an angel, had her love and dreams nearly taken away from her due to her obesity. Her boyfriend was a diet pill salesman, only approached her with the intention of selling her the pills. After she purchased the medicine from him, he promptly sent a video and ended their relationship. Hannah, dressed in an oversized t-shirt, gazed longingly at the fashionable clothes in her closet, unable to fit into any of them. Embarrassment consumed her life, with the exception of her beautiful magnificent voice. The popular female star Emmy was alluring and captivating, but she was only lip-syncing on stage, while it was Hannah who provided the actual vocals from behind the curtains. Apart from her love for singing, there was one man who constantly supported Hannah and gave her the strength to carry on. This man was Sang Joon, who was also Amy's music producer. Whenever a performance came to an end, it was always Sang Joon who would rush to give Hannah a warm embrace and encouraging words. Whenever Hannah confided her feelings about Sang Joon, her friend Young Min would always remind her to snap out of it, as nobody could love a girl as overweight as Hannah. In search of good luck, the two girls visited a tattoo shop and got lucky tattoos, little did Hannah know that this would mark the start of her immense pain. One day, after a performance, Sang Joon extended an invitation to Hannah to attend his birthday party on the way, Hannah happily agreed to go. The car eventually stopped before a sanatorium. Hannah's father was struggling with mental illness due to the loss of her mother, and she often visited him to provide comfort and dance with him like her mother used to. To pay for her father's treatment, Hannah took on side jobs such as providing voice-based chat services. She was easily emotional and shed tears over the struggles of others. The next day, Hannah received a dress from Sang Joon and eagerly changed into it for the party. But Young Min's awkward face explained everything. Upon arrival at the party, Sang Joon invited Hannah to sit next to him. However, the mood quickly turned awkward when Hannah took off her jacket and revealed the dress. Ami, who had sent Hannah the dress, entered the room wearing the same one and sat next to Sang Joon, fueled by her envy of Hannah's singing and Sang Joon's preference for Hannah. This contrast left Hannah feeling ashamed, and she left the room. Sang Joon was furious with Amy's behavior, but Amy didn't see anything wrong with it. In the bathroom, Hannah overheard a conversation between Amy and Sang Joon you think I like her? Actually, she disgusts me, but we should still thank her for her singing. I just want to teach her a lesson, said Amy. When Hannah learned that the person she cherished was only using her, she felt hopeless and left alone. In a fit of despair, she sealed the windows of her home, prepared to end her life using gas. However, just as she was about to carry out her plan, her phone rang. It was a regular customer's of hers, a plastic surgeon. Hannah determined at that moment that it was better to go down fighting than to succumb to such a dishonorable defeat. The next day, she went to see the doctor and revealed her identity. The cost of a full-body plastic surgery was too high for her to afford. With her last bit of sincerity, she pleaded with the doctor, my life is in your hands. You can either end it or save it. That evening, she packed all of her belongings, taking with her only the doll her father had given her as a child. The surgery transformed Hannah from head to toe, and she experienced immense pain throughout. Hannah's sudden disappearance forced the postponing of Amy's second music album. With the new year came Hannah's plan for a fresh start. After a year of rehabilitation and exercise, Hannah finally removed her bandages. Upon gazing at her reflection in the mirror, Hannah was amazed at the stunning transformation and couldn't help but cry tears of joy. This was Hannah's first time out shopping since the surgery and she donned the clothes of her dreams. While at the mall, Hannah unexpectedly ran into Sang Joon and Emmy, who were signing autographs for the album. Still in love with Sang Joon, Hannah followed him secretly to the parking lot. A delivery guy was enamored by Hannah and stumbled to the ground from the sight of her. Hannah rushed to his aid, while Sang Joon approached as well. Fearful of being recognized, Hannah grabbed the delivery guy's helmet and fled the scene. With all her savings, Hannah bought a car and was admiring her reflection while driving, but ended up rear-ending the car in front of her. The taxi driver rushed out shouting in anger, but his demeanor changed upon seeing Hannah. The traffic police arrived and were also captivated by Hannah's beauty. Despite being covered in blood, the taxi driver insisted he was okay. However, when the crowd asked Hannah for her driver's license, they discovered that her ID and photo did not match her appearance and she was taken to the police station. Even though she couldn't prove her identity, the police were still incredibly kind to her. When Young Min arrived after receiving calls for help, she didn't recognize Hannah at first, who had been missing for a year. 
It wasn't until Hannah revealed a matching tattoo that Young Min finally believed her and hugged her excitedly. After learning that Sang Joon was searching for a replacement for Amy's voice, Hannah came up with the idea to sing again under a new identity since even her closest friend couldn't recognize her. With Young Min's endorsement, Hannah, now using the alias Jenny, stepped back into the spotlight as a Korean American in front of Sang Joon although she was nervous initially. She grew more confident as the music began to play. Sang Joon was stunned by her singing. Although he didn't recognize Hannah, he knew this was the voice he had been searching for. After the performance, they embraced in celebration. Ami was thrilled to have found a suitable candidate, but she was unaware of Sang Joon's new plan. Sang Joon believed that with Hannah's appearance and vocal talent, she had the potential to become the next big star. He suggested to his partner that they groom Hannah into a complete package and launch her as a fresh star. Over the following days, Sang Joon got along well with Hannah while Ami was left out. Ami had to care for Hannah's father and hoping that Hannah would eventually return so she could resume her own career. Hannah got carried away then started to lose focus in her singing, which Sang Joon noticed. He showed Hannah a video of her past self to remind her of her passion and commitment as a singer. Hannah was touched, almost to the point of revealing her true identity to Sang Joon. However, Young Min warned her that she was risking exposure by staying with Sang Joon for so long. But Hannah was unfazed and instead reminded Young Min of her recent relationship with a dishonest man who was only using her to sell diet products. The two friends' relationship was strained due to Hannah's transformation. The following day, as Sang Joon drove Hannah home from the recording, he noticed someone taking pictures of her and recognized it's the delivery boy who has a crush on her. The boy confesses that he's taken photos of Hannah as he found her too gorgeous to resist admiring from a distance. Sang Joon scoffs at the boy, saying that an ugly man like him would not dare to think of a beautiful girl like Hannah. These words hit a nerve with Hannah and only made her more distressed. Do you know what it's like to be unable to express your love for someone? She said before storming off, leaving Sang Joon with a bewildered expression. After coming back home, Hannah burned all of her old photos, hoping to erase any trace of the fat and ugly girl from the world. Later that same night, Hannah stumbled upon Ami practicing her singing, but with limited vocal talent. Upon leaving the practice room, Hannah shared with Ami the phrase her father often repeated, you should play to your strengths, only God can do everything perfectly. These words sparked Ami's curiosity, leading her to uncover Hannah's secret. Soon it was the day of Hannah's highly anticipated public performance. She arrived early at the beauty salon for preparation. Later, she received a call from the hospital about Young Min's situation. Her boyfriend had broken up with her after scamming her, causing her to attempt suicide with sleeping pills. Luckily, the doctor declared her condition stable. Hannah was outraged and determined to seek revenge for her friend. She tracked down the fraud to his office and followed him into the elevator. As the man thought he was in for a romantic encounter with Hannah, she instead slapped him and continued to beat him with her high heels. Meanwhile, Sang Joon, who had been searching for Hannah, entered the elevator and quickly locked the doors. The man panicked upon seeing the two of them, but Sang Joon punched him, took money from his wallet, and threw it on the floor before leaving him as if Hannah had been molested. The concert was about to start, they rushed to the backstage. Hannah didn't have time to put on makeup and Sang Joon's competitors were waiting for him to screw up. In a moment of urgency, Sang Joon tore off Hannah's skirt to use as a performance costume. He reassured her that her voice was what people would like most, not her appearance. He handed her the microphone and told her to buck up. Hannah had always wanted to reward Sang Joon, she embraced him, seeking comfort and strength, just as she had done before. Hannah was nervous when she stepped on the stage, as she had always sung behind the scenes before. She kept stealing glances at Sang Joon, who also seemed to be on edge. The audience was poised to judge. But when Sang Joon looked like he was about to falter, Hannah, who didn't want to let him down, finally let her voice shine. Her performance skyrocketed her to fame, but someone also defaced her poster with the word imposter. Despite this, Sang Joon didn't let it bother him, as he and Hannah grew closer each day. One night, Sang Joon attempted to take their relationship to the next level, but Hannah, following her doctor's advice, was hesitant to be intimate. This caused Sang Joon to lose interest. After a pleasant conversation, he fell asleep in the recording studio. Hannah dreams were slowly coming true, after drawing a lucky totem on the glass, she drifted off to sleep as well. When Sang Joon woke up, he covered her with a blanket and sat reflecting on their relationship. It was then that he noticed the totem on the glass and became serious as something clicked in his mind. He quickly searched through archives and found the same totem on Hannah's previous sheet music. 
Recalling her odd reaction earlier, he finally understood that the beautiful girl in front of him was the previously overweight girl. After Hannah woke up, Sang Jun deliberately kept his distance from her. On the other side, Emi, who was also privy to Hannah's secret, eagerly awaited the opportunity to expose her. At a company dinner, she brought along Hannah's father who recognized his daughter and presented her with the doll. Hannah feigned ignorance, but saw Sang Jun observing her with suspicion. To further test her, Sang Jun roughly pushed the old man to the ground and asked if she knew him. Plagued with fear, Hannah could only shake her head and deny any connection. Young Min was disappointed in her friend, and eventually took Hannah's father away. Later, Sang Jun confronted Hannah alone. Don't play dumb, Kang Hannah, he said, revealing the truth. Sang Jun remained as self-possession as ever, as the company was preparing for Hannah's upcoming big concert, and he coldly promised her to keep her secret, solely for the sake of profit. Hannah broke down in tears upon witnessing Sang Jun's uncaring demeanor. He still saw her as nothing but a means to an end, a tool for making money. In a fit of anger, Hannah slammed her music album on the table and accidentally cut her hand. Despite his initial demeanor, Sang Jun had developed feelings for Hannah over time and quickly provided her with tissue to stem the bleeding. Hannah opened up about her past struggles and stated this is nothing compared to what I've been through before. I've had my skin sliced open and my bones shattered. She thought those experiences were the most painful things, but she never imagined that this moment would be even more so. The secret about Hannah's plastic surgery was uncovered. To preserve the company's reputation, the chairman proposed cancelling Hannah's concert immediately. But due to Sang Jun's unwavering persistence, the chairman agreed, and Sang Jun took Hannah away. On their way to the performance venue, Hannah encountered her father with Young Min. She followed Young Min to the bathroom and sincerely apologized for her past actions. In the dressing room, as the start of the show drew near, Hannah was still intimidated to take the stage. Sang Jun placed a supportive hand on her shoulder and reminded her that the concert she had worked so hard for was now for her own self-fulfillment, rather than for anyone else. With the music, Hannah slowly took center stage. However, after some time had passed, she still hadn't started singing. Noticing this, her father tried to cheer her up. Just as security was about to escort her father out, Hannah stopped them. She told the audience that she didn't want to be trapped in this moment after her secret was revealed. She admitted to being a former overweight girl who used to hide under the stage and sing, and now being a plastic beauty who underwent head-to-toe surgery. This was the first time she had ever shared her life story, but with the tens of thousands of people in the audience. She confessed to having abandoned her friends, not even daring to identify with her father, and now barely recognizing herself. Her honesty touched young Min and she forgave her. Sang Jun then brought out Hannah's old videotapes and played for the audience, revealing her former overweight and unattractive self. The crowd was taken aback, but Hannah turned around and embraced her past. To everyone's surprise, Hannah's sincerity and bravery won everyone's respect. The delivery guy was the first to shout, good job, Hannah, followed by the audience waving their glow sticks in support. Hannah was deeply moved, and finally mustered the courage to open her mouth and begin singing her own song. At that moment, Young Min's voice echoed from behind Hannah as she returns to the stage to lend her support in singing. Sang Jun was moved to tears. With his guidance, Hannah finally approached her estranged father whom she had been unable to recognize for so long. Finally embracing her true beauty, she was reunited with her father. Despite some still not liking her, Hannah gained more popularity. Though she may have once looked down on Sang Jun's guidance, as she stood before him, he became increasingly infatuated with her. It's true that a beautiful face and a sleek figure will always be in high demand, but it's important to not lose yourself in the pursuit of beauty. Remember, your authenticity is what truly defines your true self. What do you think of this movie? If you enjoy this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.